Nothing can be better than the dance of the national bird, the Indian peacock. It is perhaps among the most beautiful of birds, especially when it has extended all its feathers to entice the female and dances to various tunes. The Nori is full of over 50,000 birds during the migratory season beginning from September and ending in April. A little over 100 species of waterfowl can be seen at the Nori during the season. These comprise of the ducks, the geese, the waders and a large number of birds of prey. The birds of prey cannot be far behind when such a large population of their prey is available at the Nori. For a wetland with waterfall to be recognized as a Ramsar's wetland of international importance, the, the Nori wetland meets the full criteria. First, there are about 50,000 birds to be seen every year that we have recorded over the last five years. Whereas the criteria for this number is just about 20,000 as laid down by the Ramsar Convention. The Nori hosts over 30 species of birds of prey out of a total of 100 seen in India. Egyptian vultures, an endangered species, and almost on the brink of extinction from India, are almost always present at the Nori. They can often be found feeding on a turtle. Here are a couple indulging in grooming and then finding a turtle and then going about their business of finishing it. Common kestrels are a delight to watch through the season. Just a couple of males, but any number of females can be seen during the season. The second criteria for recognition as a Ramsar wetland is the presence of about 1% of the biogeographical population of one particular species. Here at the Nori Wetlands, we have recorded over the last five years the presence of anywhere between 140 to 150 Saras cranes at the roost time, late in the evening and early morning. It is a super sight when a raptor is on the hunt and the birds take the evasive action by taking off. Flutter of 50 to 100,000 wings is a joy to hear and behold. Then, on the ground, one can sometimes see some action between an eagle and a snake. Many species of snakes have been spotted here at the Nordic. Waterfall make the real numbers. It is indeed a great fun to watch thousands of goats, grubs, blacktail, godwits, pintail, shovelers, and many others in smaller numbers. What a pleasure it is to see bar-headed and grey-like geese with their cacophony every morning and evening and whenever they take off to air. Bar-headed geese perhaps have the strongest heart among all the birds in the world. It is amazing to see them flying at 30,000 feet over the Mount Everest where there is hardly any oxygen available. Their hearts beat at about 400 times a minute. At the same time, the resident ducks and the smallest goose, cotton pygmy goose, is not to be forgotten. Weavers are probably the best architects in the world. Their nests cannot be entered by even slimy characters like snakes and these nests cannot be blown away among the strongest of storms. It had been a great pleasure to see the great bittern 
visit the Nori wetlands in 2016 and 17. It was a huge attraction and any number of birders from all over the country and some from abroad visited just to have a look at the great bittern walking out into the open when it is known to be an extremely skulky bird and seldom shows itself out in the open. Common stone chat is among the smallest and perhaps the first of the migratory terrestrial birds to arrive. Black drongos are almost always present and are perhaps among the most ignored birds, except when the two of them sit together and start a debate like they are debating on Indian TV channels. Pied cuckoos and common hawk cuckoos. They are the harbingers of monsoon and it is well known, especially in Mumbai, that the monsoons are not far behind once a pied cuckoo has been spotted. The pied cuckoo travels all the way from East Africa, riding the monsoon currents. 16th May 2019 became a day for which the birders actually lived. I was witness to such a wonderful sight of the parent taking the, its chicks on under its wings and protecting them from the inclement weather. Perhaps among the most colorful and beautiful migratory species, northern lapwing is a most sought after bird at the Nori, as also anywhere else. Look at the colors and the luminescence. It needs good light and pollution free atmosphere. Wetlands act as carbon sinks to keep the environment pollution free. Jacanas, both bronze-winged and uh, pheasant-tailed, are yet another very attractive among of the birds. A typical TDH, tall, dark and handsome bird that comes as brown and goes off after assuming dark, almost black breeding colors before heading home. Great to see thousands of waders with the large majority being made up by ruffs and black-tailed godwits, a near-threatened species. Soon as Ma February March arrives, Kentish flowers can be seen in the outer areas of the marshy parts of the wetland that start drying up a bit. Among the large waders present at the Nori wetlands are the four species of stalks three species of grain, three species of ibises, and of course, egret, spoonbills, and harrows in unlimited numbers. Spoonbills and stalks have their own system of finding their prey. They stir the muddy waters and find what they're looking for. Black-necked stalk is an endangered species and perhaps one of the most difficult birds whose beauty is not very easy to capture on cellulite. The pond herons are almost always present throughout the 365 days. They are very silent, very still and then just go about and spare the prey. They are a joy to behold when they are in their prime breeding colors. Wetlands are great hunting grounds for raptors or birds of prey. Wetlands provide a variety of prey for different species of raptors. The Nori is indeed a great wetland, where on several different days during the migratory season from September to March, 
one can spot as many as 16 species as I did one fine day of December 2016. On raptor migration routes, say in Thailand, 30 to 35 species are spotted on a single day when the raptors are migrating in thousands. Brahmani kites are indeed a joy to behold, especially as they are both hunters as well as uh, scavengers. It's a great sight to see them hunting, picking up the prey and then eating it while flying in flight. Please join me in my campaign and crusade to save the Nori wetlands, not only as a wetland, but also as a Ramsar site.